Um, so continuing with the nature, mm -hmm. um, about uh, talking about nature, um, uh, natural elements, there is a um, mention uh, to water, to, for example, swimming uh, in the sea or in another, in, another uh, in natural waters in general, no? Mm -hmm. And I also know that's like very powerful too. Uh, what do you mean when you say there is a salutary effect? Uh, mm -hmm. when... Yeah. Um, yeah, this is another tool beneficial for health, which we can enjoy daily if we have this opportunity. Uh, to swim in the sea or in some natural spring waters. So concerning the seawater, this is what is interesting that the composition of the sea minerals is very similar to the composition of minerals in our blood. Just the, the concentration of the of the salts is three times um, higher in the sea. Uh, so first of all this is this like uh, richness in minerals which is very beneficial for the skin also for the respiratory um, uh, tract so so airways so if we inhale the mist the sea mist is very salutary uh, for, uh, to prevent the diseases or infection of our uh, respiratory ways um, then another thing is that uh, the element of water uh, has uh, like a part of this mineral composition or the movement in the water is very healthy because uh, you know we don't deal with the uh, heaviness of gravity so you might know that there are many exercises uh, like uh, many spa which uh, promote the movement uh, like treatment of the joint diseases uh, moving in the water and another aspect we also like to promote within Mehana is hardening, cold water swimming. There was one uh, uh, German priest living in the 19th century. His name was Sebastian Kneipp, who promoted a lot this hydrotherapy. And what is meant mostly by this Kneipp therapy is uh, uh, are the alternate affusions in cold and hot water. So uh, alternate affusions of the extremities either of my arms or of my uh, legs because our vessels they react to the temperature in cold temperature the vessels contract in hot temperature relent and when you alternate this temperature within hydrotherapy you make exercise your vessels which is very healthy because what what happens and when you improve the circulation mainly in the musculoskeletal system you uh, encourage the oxygenation, perfusion, bringing the nutrients to some parts of the body and um, uh, washing away all the waste. So that's why it is so health, uh, uh, health, um, healthy to uh, expose yourself also to this uh, alternate temperatures. And another aspect which is very beneficial of hardening is um, you can also reinforce your immunity. Uh, there were also many studies uh, which supported this idea. For example, uh, one study uh, um, uh, described the effect on the prevention of uh, infectious diseases and claims that uh, when the children uh, underwent regularly the hardening, so they uh, swam or bathed in cold water just for a short while, uh, after six weeks, or so, um, their incidence of respiratory infections decreased by 40 percent. So it's great. This is the effect for the immunity system and another effect also for stress releasing. Because if you remain for a really long time in stress, then you get exhausted. And when you get in the cold water, you also reveal like stress reaction. Your heart beats faster, your blood pressure um, raises. But when you get out, you switch into the uh, relaxed condition. And uh, it is very good the same as uh, if you train your muscle, you know. So more you expose you to this like stress pattern, but then you switch into the uh, uh, relaxedness, 
it uh, reinforces your ability to react and to deal with these stress situations. Yeah, yeah. I remember last time we talked, uh, mm -hmm. I asked you about uh, this hardening sometimes going against the family culture of uh, <laughs> getting uh, wet with cold water. But uh, I remember uh, you mentioned this, it is uh, a lot also on us, right? To to see if 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 I'm getting sick or mm -hmm. something, or if I take long time mm -hmm. in the in the cold water. I yep. don't know if it's... You mean, of course, you have to use it in a wise way and consciously. It's the same as if you are sick. You have, uh, for example, you sprain your ankle, so it is not the moment to exercise and uh, to jump you know you have to take your time to recover it's the same for hardening so it's this uh, beneficial effect uh, you implement just in the moment when your body is um, enough ready and strong to undergo it so in the state of uh, when your immunity is weakened or you are compromised in some way for example when you suffer from heart disease so it is not wise to jump in the, the the cold water so but there is always a way to do it gradually in some smart and wise way and also always there is a sense to uh, undergo hardening when uh, you are in good health condition and then you can gain this uh, beneficial effects for your health all right yeah. thank you Thank you.